Well, beginning of the match, we felt that you know 140 was a par score, um, not a winning score, but a par score where we could challenge. Because um, having looked at the other matches, um, uh, we felt that you know guys were struggling to get that unless you get a good start. Um, so, but we we probably fell short maybe by about 15, 20 runs, the way we started, and we probably should have finished better. But credit to the Pakistan, I think Umar Gul came and bowled really well. Three overs uh, pulled us back. Uh, so 140 was a pass score. It's a challenging score, but the only way we could have won was by picking up wickets, which we did regularly. So that helped us to um, execute a good game plan. When you see a batting lineup like Pakistan, um, you try and pick up wickets. You be positive as much as possible. Um, on a slow track, you try and bowl straight. Um, and obviously, guys did that. Um, especially the first six overs was crucial for us. But we, we varied the pace, but we kept it nice and straight. Made them hit big shots, um, take risk. So after that, the spinners came and did the job. Amazing feeling. I think really proud of the boys. Um, we had a great support uh, out there. Um, you know, they kept shouting at us on the field. It was fantastic feeling. So I think we're a proud nation, a proud cricketing nation, and you know, everyone will be behind us on Sunday. So quite looking forward to that. Well, chasing down runs, it's always going to be a tough call, you know, um, in a big, big game, like in a semi-final. Um, I thought, you no, know, we, we kept wickets in hand, batting up front, you know, we, we were composed, we knew, um, you know, 140 was a good score. Uh, they came in and they batted really well, I thought, um, Hafiz batted really well, guided them through that first 10, 12 overs. Um, but we kept picking up wickets, that was very crucial for us to try and, you know, put pressure on them. We knew they were one batter short today, they went with an extra bowler, so if we were to pick up four, five, six wickets, we knew we were into their tail end, so that's what we did. I mean, four finals, it's amazing. I don't, I mean, uh, in, in one's career, you know, you'll be lucky enough to play in one final, but, you know, I've been very fortunate to, you know, push ourselves to get into those situations. Um, we, we have to approach it in a different way. Obviously, one final was in Barbados, the other one was in England, um, the other one was in Mumbai, so we're playing at Premadasana, so we'll approach it differently. I mean, four finals, it's amazing. I don't, I mean, uh, in, in one's career, you know, you'll be lucky enough to play in one final, but, you know, I've been very fortunate to, you know, push ourselves to get into those situations. Um, we, we have to approach it in a different way. Obviously, one final was in Barbados, the other one was in England. Um, the other one was in Mumbai, so we're playing at Premadasana, so we'll approach it differently. He's, he's been um, brilliant against Pakistan. I think if you take his career, he's always tormented them, and obviously Pakistan has a history against left-arm spin, so from the beginning when we analyze and do all those things, you know, Pakistan, we always try and play a left arm spinner. You know, we feel that, you know, it creates us opportunities. Um, so uh, that was a tough call. Achilles' birthday is today as well. It was disappointing when I told him he's not playing. You should see his face. But, uh, um, but we felt that the two experienced spinners would guide us through today, Ajanta and, and Herat, and um, they did the job for us. So you have to make some tough calls, and sometimes it pays off. Like I've always said, sometimes it doesn't, but I'm quite happy that it did pay off for me. Well, the wicket was spinning. It was a bit too slow as well. It was tough for me to generate pace to go straight up. Um, so I felt that, you know, horizontally I could probably generate more pace. I mean, you need to back yourself in these kind of big games, and, you know, if it comes off, it comes off. But... Uh, um, been batting okay, you know, I'm pretty confident the way I'm approaching. Um, and I have a lot of confidence in my other uh, guys as well in the middle order, you know, they've been hitting the ball pretty decently, so it's not a lot of pressure on me to, to hold it together, you know. Um, we're a group and, you know, we back ourselves to, you know, play cricket as a group, you know, so it's, that's how I approached. I think when we started the tournament, we spoke uh, to the boys as well. We said we're going to play in three different uh, surfaces, will be different to each other. 
um, we had to adjust, we had to, you know, execute a different game plan on those services, and which we did quite uh, successfully, except for the, the shortened game against South Africa in, in Hambantota. But uh, um, like I said, you know, it's all about handling some tough situations better than the opposition, because it's a 20-over game, you can't do much. So make sure that you make fewer mistakes and, and you know, try and handle those tough situations, and uh, I think that's what we've done. I think you know we're playing in bigger grounds in, in, in Sri Lanka and the wicket's a bit slower so it's an even contest you know you don't want to see 200 plus scores all the time sometimes it gets a bit boring so these kind of matches are exciting for the public as well it's, it's a good challenge for cricketers as well um, you know it, it's not been very low scores it's you know 140, 150 is a, it's a good competitive score in a T20 game.